All right, I put some gas back in. Because I knew this would had a huge leak under vacuum, and when I purged out the dry nitrogen from video number one, we are now in video number two, I purged out the dry nitrogen. When the nitrogen was coming out, it smelled like rancid, foul water. Like decayed old vegetable oil that was left under the cabinet sink for a long time. Uh, like your olive oil and it's five years old and it smells rancid and bad. Um, like some water that had food left in it and a plastic cover over it for a month and then you lift up the plastic cover and, you, and it smells bad. This is what the air smelled like coming out the nitrogen coming out of here because this is so moisture contaminated because it was taken completely apart immaculately clean but what do I sign somebody put dye in there before me and you can see a little bit of evidence of the dye and it's just barely leaking bubbles that you could barely they actually slow down and almost stop right now on this case where I said from video number one it would be leaking right here or here and it is and they steam clean that's so good but they didn't steam clean way down here where they had the compressor underneath there was old dye so somebody was looking for leaks before and the evidence of the old dye was down inside here and so this had a known problem that was not taken care of before so we go on to, I'm going to have to get my leak detector and look for leaks elsewhere. But the leak where I said it would be is B, nice English. And the compressor has to be taken. Oh, here's another thing. Low side, 85 PSI. High side, 235 PSI. What's wrong? Well, one thing. I only have 185 grams in there. This takes 1,700 grams. So I'm really low on charge, but wait a minute. If I'm really low on charge, shouldn't my high side be lower? Because isn't that what PP charts say? And shouldn't by the averages and the rules of thumbs of all the backyard mechanics and the YouTube professors, they say if you're low on charge, oh shit oops there goes my uh, ah, my scale thing fell way down behind the battery and the headlight oh well um, if I only have 180 grams in here out of 1700 shouldn't the low side be really low and if I took one of those little cans of AC Pro with a little gauge wouldn't 85 PSI on the low side indicate I'm low or I'm no I'm really really filled with refrigerant but yet I only have 180 grams in here out of 1,700 grams. Well, in this case, Chevy did a lot of screwed up things with the way they put orifice tubes. This is an orifice tube system, not an expansive valve system. It has an accumulator. They stuck orifice tubes sometimes in some years make them all where the high side line right here, where it goes in straight in the evaporator, it would be there. Sometimes it would be built in a section of the line. There is no section of the line here. It goes right to the condensers. Sometimes, and everything is black on black in the shade back there. You can't see it, but sometimes where the orifice tube out of this new condenser, the line comes up like this. It has a fitting and it has a hollow spot inside there and the orifice tube would be located down in there. Well, what they did was they got an aftermarket condenser that's, you know, says okay, but it's better than the original uh, from this year. And they forgot to put an orifice tube down there. So the low side has no restriction. And so what we have going on here is, yes, I'm low on refrigerant, but because I know this came from a body shop too and they don't know to replace the orifice tubes, they do this all the time, especially when GM first introduced these kind of condensers and they were floating over tubes all over you'd have one make your vehicle within one or two years and you'd have four or five different locations you could put an orifice tube i would also come across cars with two orifice tubes in them on accident so there's no orifice tube down in this condenser and you'd say well wouldn't that make a really low side well 
it would but what if they already because he put that retrofit he ran it and all the piston ring material has already skinned out of the compressor off the rings and all that plastic teflon material has jumped into the condenser and it goes around the little loops on the edge where on the edge you have those little loops and the piston ring material when it's long shreds one or two inches long it hits the first bend it tries to go around and they all start packing up right there well where is your high side fitting located it's located at the inside of the condenser so you would get a high pressure reading here because the restriction is after your fitting but if i took the same fitting and i put the high side down let's say if we could if i took the high side where it comes out of the bottom of the condenser and it comes up to the fitting and there's an orifice tube if i put the high side fitting just before the orifice tube i would find out maybe i have 110 psi right here if i had an orifice tube in there at, or, or no, not even with the orifice tube. Let's, let me even take that back. Let's say it's still screwed up and they left the orifice tube out of there. And I had a high side fitting before the condenser and I put a high side fitting after the condenser but with no orifice tube, I would still have over 100 degree, 100 PSI pressure drop if the compressor has shredded its piston ring material and it's packed in one of the little bins at the end somewhere in the condenser way up high so your pressure orifice tube would happen right there now if I if I could take this drill off and put my fingers or if I had a infrared camera not an infrared gun there's a difference between an infrared gun and an infrared camera when I use my infrared camera and I have a drill off I could physically see the hot lines and then right where there's a restriction it would turn from red and then after the restriction of the packed up piston material it would turn blue or green because it would cool right at that point and then all the tubes after that would be cooler so this is a multi-offender and uh, a bit of work to be done let's see what the end result is after parts are replaced see you guys on the next video